মস্তাবের নামে তেই
Jitralad Maharaja Ki Jai Namaste Nara Shingaya Namaste Nara Shingaya Namaste Nara Shingaya Namaste Nara Shingaya
ಸ್ಮಿತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಪ್ರಮಾನಂದೇ ನಮ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾಯ
This was my uh, Vyas Puja poem that I wrote for Gurudev in January, so he's giving me a chance to share it with everyone now. And it's called A Tear at Your Lotus Feet. And in 96, when Gurudev was, after his first tour in the West and he was leaving America, a few of us got to sit in the lounge with him at JFK for a long time, just a couple of us. And Gopanandini was there and all of a sudden she started crying a little bit. So Gurudev looked at her and he said, Yes, every day I want from you one tear, one tear. So, O oh great Acharya of our Gaudiya line, O oh dedicated sadak immersed in bhajan, O oh sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Seeing the fallen Westerners showing some glimmer of interest, you open the doors of your heart. Mercy flowing fast like the Ganga and softly like the Jamuna comes pouring out, overwhelming all with an astonishing joy. We never heard these sweet things before. Sadhu, sadhu, how wonderful. I want to hear more. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Dedicated to helping the fall, very fallen, you give your life's breath and more. Come on, come on, take the holy name. Eat less, sleep less, talk less, chant more. Don't worry for your maintenance. Set your goal and not be touched in chirat. Nitaye godaye, nitaye godaye. Srimati Radhika's Palyadasis, we want nothing less. This is the highest, the very highest. I have so many fruits in my basket. Who will take? Who will take? You can't imagine what I'm trying to give you, but you're not taking. What? You want me to give you poison? I can never do that. Krishna, hey, Radhe, Krishna, hey, Radhe. Oh, sweet master of my life. Daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Kartik Vrata, every year more wonderful, more exciting. In a rocket ship of transcendental sound vibration, your Hari Kata and sweet Kirtans, we burst through the seven coverings of the material universe, zoom past Vaikuntha, and enter the very heart of Golok Vraj. Sri Radha Kund herself. This is Rupa Nuga. Kartik, daily describing Krishna's sweet Vraj Leelas to inspire our dry hearts. Bacho Vegam, Manasakrota Vegam. Tan Nama Rupa Chari Tari Sukirtananu. Don't criticize, don't criticize. Udo Goste Gostale Ishu Sujane Busaragane. Trinada Pi Sunichena. More humble than grass, offer all respect to others. We must become like the Goswamis. Give up your desires. Serve the Vaishnavs. All these treasures you have placed in our praying Samput. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. <laughs> Coming in a line of lions, you are also Prabhupada, fearlessly establishing our Siddhantas. Astakalya Lila does not belong to the Hasahajyas. It is our property. Vikriditam Vrajavadubiri Damcha Vishnu. We must hear about Krishna and the gopis. Don't jump, don't jump. Manaksakrota Vegam. Spreading the truth throughout Vraj. Parakya Ras. Radha and Krishna were never married. Krishna was born in Gokula, not Mathura. Setting the local people straight. Srila <laughs> <laughs> Saraswati Thakur asked his father, Can I publish Gita Govinda? Yes. One copy for yourself. <laughs> but you, Gurudev, confidently keeping the pure Gaudiya line alive, so bold that you published Pujari Goswami's Gita Govinda and then translated into English, even though no one is qualified. 
Adi Ras Shringaras, this is pure love. You can't understand what Mahabhav is, but still, I will tell you something about it. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one, one tear, one, one tear. tear. Looking out for your children's welfare, you cleverly and fearlessly expose the dangerous crocodiles lurking under the water. <laughs> Prophetically, in 2003 in Germany, you told us, if there is no bhakti in the Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti, I will leave immediately. We could not imagine at that time. And when they publicly insulted you, still you were a loving father to them. And without a drop of malice in your heart, you visited Devananda Mutt and spoke the confidential beauties of Mahaprabhu's Leela. Always the perfect Vaishnav. Your ignorant babies mistaking hidden hypocrisies for bhakti. Pralamba Sura entered our midst, stealing away innocent sheep. Forced to banish your dearmost to the forest, you wept. Can you bring him back? Can you help him? Beware of Vaishnav Aparad. Do you think you can change Guru's words? Never. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one, one tear. tear. Your sudden illness shaking us into reality, too weak to speak, twisting our hearts deep. Take to this process seriously. You must achieve liberation before I leave. Arjuna saw only the eye of the bird. Don't look here and there. We have come here only for this brudge bhakti. Have no other thought. Give your life to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and quickly go to Golok Vraj. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet. On to you. On to you. In the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Om Vishnu Parsishma Bhakti Vedanta. I am happy that our fifth day, today's fifth day, in class, like seven days, we have passed very okay. Everything is going on well. Today, Govardhan Puja, Annakum Puja with Vedic Rita and Mans, Abhishek, Kirtan, Go Puja, Brahman Puja, Guru Puja, everything today. Very excellent. When I come here, I remember, oh, Govardhan Hill, really. Jamna River, where river is here. Waterfalls, Radha Kund, Sham Kund, and so many things. So, Krishna is telling to Uddhav, Avadhuta, Dattatriya, Sambhad. We have gone up to
Vision. Those who want to do bhajan, they should remember how Pijan was engaged in his wife, children, and for what became? He could not see his death. He himself jumped into the eh? trap of the hunter. Ah, and he left his life. So always remember this. And the hunter became very happy, collected them in his tribe, keep in his soldier, and went and cooked. So remember this. Don't be attached. Don't be attached. And then he telling, oh, as if all living beings without wings or without any effort, and they want to check. But even Dukh suffering is coming. And sitting on our head, the next test will have to suffer. So wherever you live, oh, those who know, what is Sukh and what is Dukh? What is happiness and suffering? <coughs> they should not do any prayatna effort. effort. If Sukh is there, happiness is there for previous life, or oh, it will come automatically. Tat prayaso no kaktabhyo. You should not do anything for them. Automatically, all kinds of soup will come. And he has given, Krishna has given, Dattatraya has given an example of Python. One, one place he lives, nothing doing any effort. And automatically if comes any animal or anything in front and he and he is satisfied. For so many days he will not try it. Automatically if coming, okay. So a sattva should be like that. Always engaging their senses in Krishna consciousness. What we have seen, teach from Samudra, Osha, Pat. Anyone? Chanda Radhika Tadale, Krishna, Krishna Bhakta, Tadavakta, and Namaha. So, one of the 24 Gurus is the ocean because in the rainy season, when so much rain comes and the rivers are swollen and they flow into the ocean, the ocean never goes up, it remains constant. In the dry season, when the rivers become very small, when the rivers become very small, the ocean also does not shrink. In the same way, the ocean is an example of a saintly person who despite the accumulation of great material enjoyment, great facilities, he's never changed. And in the absence of those great facilities, he's also never changed. And last time I was talking with Pran Kishoparu, <laughs> and he was saying, when he first came to Gurudev, there was nothing. All were very poor, and now, at that time, Gurudev was the same, 
And now, despite so many disciples coming so much wealth, he remains completely unchanged. So good ever is one example. Motion. It's become overflow and make destruction. <laughs> then this two is three and Deva Mayam Sadabhavai Ajitendriya. तो लोग इस तरह पतंग तंग थे, सस्ता नौ पतंग हो गए। यो, can you? You don't remember? One who has failed to control his senses immediately feels attraction upon seeing a woman's form which is created by the illusory energy of the Supreme Lord. Indeed, when the woman speaks with enticing words, smiles coquettishly, and moves her body sensuously, his mind is immediately captured, and thus he falls blindly into the darkness of material existence, just as the moth maddened by the fire rushes blindly into its flames. So, here the instruction is given how the moth, Patanga, is one of the gurus because the moth is very attracted by the flame. So the moth comes around the flame. At night, if there's any flame, moths will come. They will circle around, circle around, and then fly into the flame. And the moth is finished. So the conditioned soul in the material world. For man, the form of woman is maya. And also for the woman, man is also maya. And there is such a strong attraction to be with the opposite sex. But because of this very powerful attraction, because of trying to satisfy this attraction, one becomes destroyed. One can become destroyed in so many ways, materially and especially spiritually. And one will forget all about the goal of life, which is to cultivate Krishna consciousness and engage in bhajan. Sannyasi, Brahmachari, and Brahmacharinis also be very careful how that fatinga moth is in flame fire. That is Rupa. <coughs> and at once he attached and goes circling and jumps. <laughs> what is the meaning? If he will not be careful, that ladies are baby Maya, especially very beautiful more than ladies and gentlemen. Very. And for them, oh, men are so, so you should always be very, very careful. Also, I see that two kinds of Varnashram, Smartha and Devi, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and others. Also, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj tried to establish Varnashram Dharma. 
So we should be satisfied by if grihasti you are <coughs> with one lady or one husband. In life, you should not change, divorce any husband <coughs> or wife. This is Varnashamda. What is favorable for us, we should take. And what is unfavorable, we should reject. It will be helpful in our Krishna consciousness. So those more more foolish, foolish persons, Kamini, Kanchan, Gold and Kamini, Alankar, so many ornaments <coughs> and Nasfar, Nasfar means perishable things in this world, they are attached and always they want to test it, they are fully, they should not do. Tokam is Tokam Prasad Graha. So, announce our Darshanyasi. Be like Bambo Bees. They should go to Grihastha Ashram after their Shapar. 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 And go to so many. He should not be burdened on a grihastha. <coughs> and from so many houses, little, little, like bumblebees collects honey <coughs> from so many flowers. So sannyasi should be like that. He should not be burdened on anyone. So I have learned from Madhumakhi, Bambubai, that a sannyasi should not collect for evening or for next day. For one, one time only and be satisfied. Other if he will <coughs> collect money or anything, then what will be? <coughs> Madhuhari, the honey, honey collector, <coughs> will come and take you like with their house, beehives, beehives. and keeps in his cloth and, and then takes and don't be like that. <coughs> then, Jyadapi Jyoti Bhikshu Nash Prasad Dharvamiti. Thirty. Who will tell? You can. Padapi Yuvatim Bikshur Nas Prishad Daravim Api Sprishan Kariva Badyeta Karinya Anga Sangata a, a saintly person should never touch a young girl. In fact, he should not even let his foot touch a wooden doll in the shape of a woman. By bodily contact with a woman, he will surely be captured by illusion just as the elephant is captured by the she-elephant due to his desire to touch her body. <coughs> yeah, there's another verse in pertaining. I, I will tell, but there's one more verse. 
Then the next verse goes on to say, Nadika Chetstriam Pragya Karhichin Mrityam Atmanaha Baladikai Sahanyeta Gajair Anyar Gajohu Yata. A man possessing intelligent discrimination should not, under any circumstances, try to exploit the beautiful form of a woman for his sense gratification. Just as a, an elephant trying to enjoy a she-elephant is killed by other bull elephants also enjoying her company, so similarly one trying to enjoy a lady's company can at any moment be killed by her other lovers who are stronger than he. <laughs> Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnanan Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha So these examples being given by the Avadut are illustrating how the attraction of the senses for the sense objects the f attraction to form the attraction to taste now the attraction to touch so in the material world, the living entities, they are very much attached to these objects of form, taste, touch, smell, and so forth. Uh, but they don't understand that as their senses become attached, uh, become attracted first of all, and then they become attached to them, then this is the cause of their destruction, actually. We already saw, the, uh, heard the example of the moth. Because of, because of sight, because of rupa, because of form and the, and the flickering of the fire, it becomes attracted and then it becomes killed. So, in the same way, here is the example being given of an elephant. An elephant in the forest is very difficult to capture. But at the same time, if the hunter knows the process of capturing the elephant, very, very easy. And the method that they utilize is they bring one she-elephant. So this she-elephant is standing at a distance from the male elephant and what they do is they dig a huge hole and they cover it with some grass. And the elephant, the male elephant sees the she-elephant she and now he becomes aroused in his desire to touch her. So he goes forward very quickly with uh, no other consideration and boom, he falls down into the pit. And in this way, he becomes captured. So in the same way, uh, in this material world, because of the attraction to touch, therefore, persons, they think, oh, if I gratify my sense of touch with the opposite sex, oh, this will satisfy me. But actually what happens? They become captured. They become entangled. So many examples are being given here about the attraction between the sexes. Why? Because this is actually the most powerful force in this material world. And it is also the most binding force. Uh, because it creates a knot within the heart. And the conditioned soul identifies very, very strongly with this false and, and actually illusory relationship that they've created. So, therefore, the Avadut is saying that he's learning from all these different aspects of nature how he can cultivate this detachment and he's learning from the mistakes of these different living entities like like the elephant he also gave the example that an elephant becomes attracted to another she elephant and uh, in order to attain that she elephant then he has to fight with the other opposing male elephants in the same way within this material world we can read in the newspapers on any day of the week how people are being killed because of lust one lover becomes attracted to a, another lady and uh, that lady happens to have a husband. She has an illicit relationship and then, then the husband finds out and then he comes and he murders uh, this uh, illicit lover. And innumerable cases like this because of the attraction of lust within this world. So by the sense of touch, especially, someone can be captured. And then the next example is being given. Especially our Sannyasi Brahmacharya, they should be very careful. <coughs> it may be like Hathini 
she's an elephant. Ladies may come and attack and he will fell down. Gips and nerves, everything. And then, by that affection, attachment, he thinks, what I have done, I have okay. No? I have left sannyas no hope. It is okay. We should be grihas. But why Ramanuj, Madhvachar, Vishnu Swami, Nimbaditya, and Vishnu Swami generation? Oh, lakhs and lakhs of sannyasi. In our sampradaya, Madhvendra Puribhaj, Ishwar Puribhaj, was sannyasi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, also sannyasi. After that, there are so many sannyasi. Prabhupada met Tridanda sannyasi, still coming in Ramanu sampradaya, in our sampradaya. So, <coughs> I renounce is very good. Very good. It will come after that. Hmm? Now, <coughs> try to be Jitendriya, to conquer your senses, especially this tongue. It has no bone. Huh? No backbone. No backbone. Not control. She can tell anything to anyone. <laughs> So we should try to control. If your Rasanandriya is controlled, all things will be controlled. Like fishes. <coughs> Everywhere in pond, in ocean, in rivers, some fishermen taking bans in their hands, a stick and <laughs> and they make some flesh in that and they find it. So by test, this is not in control. She at once jumps and takes it. And what becomes? They try to go. <laughs> Coming and again leaving. And after some time, she is tired and she, he takes and cooks. <laughs> <laughs> so we should try to control all this time. Don't speak anything which is wrong. Always control. Bark way is off. If your bark way is control, everything. Then there will be no offense. A Vaishnav, Nam, Nama Parat, or anything. Then, <coughs> oh, he is telling Pingala Nam Vishya. In ancient call, ancient time, in Videh Nagari, where Raja Janak Videh. Usually, and there was a prostitute, Shamraj. Om Gyanam Timirandasya Gyanam Jana Salakaya Chaksurun Nilitam Yena Tasmai Sri Guravinama. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak about the next of the 24 gurus of Shiksha Gurus as of Avadut Dattatreya. And he's telling King Yadu that Pingala Vesh, Pingala prostitute, is another of my <coughs> gurus. So I'll read the verse. O best among men, the king, this prostitute was very anxious to get money. 
and she stood on the street at night. And as she did so, she studied all the men who were passing by thinking, Oh, this one will surely have money. I know he can pay the price. And I'm sure he would enjoy my company very much. <laughs> Thus, she thought about all the men in the street. But one man came and went by her as though she wasn't there. And then another, and in order to attract them, seeing that they were going by her, she would take very beautiful poses in different ways and nothing was working. So gradually, she became so unhappy at her failures that within her heart, some detachment started manifesting. Failure is the pillar of success. Our Srila Prabhupada in his books used to quote Pingala prostitute as the example. Then, as the detachment came in her heart, she started remembering the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And she said to herself, Just see how greatly illusioned I am. I cannot control my mind. Just like a fool, I desire to enjoy the pleasures of insignificant men. Lakshmi also, in the sixth canto, she is teaching that what is the use of a husband who's made of a bag of skin and pus and just some hair sticking out of that piece of skin? <laughs> One should accept only the Supreme Personality of Godhead as his husband. <laughs> then she begins condemning herself. We girls have to stick together. <laughs> then she says, how uselessly I've tortured my soul. I have sold my body to lust, greedy men who themselves are objects of pity. <laughs> in, the second, in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, when Arjuna is complaining to Krishna, why are you asking me to fight in this war? So many bad things will happen. Women and girls are protected by their husbands and their fathers, elders, and if their husbands and elders die in the war, then they'll be subjected to the prey, to be the prey of unscrupulous men. And there in the purport, our Srila Prabhupada says that uh, unintelligent women become subject to the exploitation of unscrupulous men. So as our Prabhupada used to say, man is good, woman is good, you put them together and it's bad. <laughs> then she continues, thus practicing the most abominable profession of a prostitute, I hope to get money and sense pleasure. Certainly in this city of Adeha, now she's manifesting some very good qualities, like Srila Naratam Das Thakur, that I haven't worshipped Lord Gora, I've accepted valueless things as valuable, and valuable things like Gaur Prem and Gaur Kirtan as valueless. Instead of hearing the Harikata of saintly persons, I listen to the Prajalpa, criticism, and useless talks of materialistic persons. I've wasted my life. What is the use of such life? I might as well have died rather than to maintain this useless body. Similarly, she's now coming to that conclusion. Certainly in the city of Adeya, I am the most foolish. This is the qualification of a devotee to get mercy. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is petite pavan. And I am the most petite, I am the most fallen, therefore my claim is first. In our song, Sri Guru Charana Padma, the last line, Ebe Yash Gushu Tribhuvana, your glories are spread all over the three worlds. Srila Gurudev gave a very deep further meaning of this that I am so fallen, nobody could save me. I'm so unqualified. If you'll deliver me, then you'll become famous all over the three worlds as the most savior of the most fallen. Then she comes to accept the glory and she's developing affection for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I neglect it by lamenting. Lamentation is purification as our acharyas teach us. I neglected the Supreme Personality of Godhead who awards us everything, even our original spiritual form, 
and instead I desire to enjoy sense gratification with many men. Men provide sense gratification for women, but all these men and even the demigods in heaven have a beginning and an end. They are all temporary creations who will be dragged away by time. Therefore, how much actual pleasure or happiness can any of them give their wives? There's no difference between the sex pleasure in heaven, on earth, and in the animal kingdom. In 1969 in Boston, our Srila Prabhupada told the story of one man who was very lusty, even though he was married to a very chaste, wonderful, submissive wife, and he desired a very expensive prostitute. So knowing about this, that chaste wife went to the prostitute's house when she wasn't home, and she began cleaning. So the prostitute returned and said, what are you doing? And she said, I want the opportunity for my husband to enjoy you. So she said, you don't realize how expensive I am. Finally, the lady worked for her until she became a prostitute, made so much money, and gave that money to her husband. And her husband went to the prostitute. So that prostitute already knew who that man was and liked his wife very much. So generally in a prostitute's house, they first serve a dinner very tasteful dinner to the man and then they engage in their business so she served him the same food in a brass pot and the same food in a golden pot and he said what is this she said just taste it and tell me what you think so he said tasted it and he said well they it tastes exactly the same why did you put it in the two pots so she said you are such a rascal that you think that sense gratification is the same, is different in me and in your wife, when the taste is actually the same. And then our Prabhupada said the taste is the same in heaven, on earth, and in hell. So because of this pingala prostitute's frustration, that turned into detachment, which later on turned into affection for the Lord, and concluded that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the only source of love and happiness. Jai so, a should always remember this single history. Asahi parmam dukham, nairasyam parmam sukham, jasantit dikantasa, sukham suspa. Select his all worldly desire <coughs> and began to think that oh, Krishna is very dear in heart and not try to please him, <coughs> but these persons who will die one day, what happiness they have given to me? Nothing. They have buried my body in fire. I became of them and lost everything. <coughs> Anyhow, by the mercy of Krishna, I am now Nayasam, Vairagya. And this Vairagya will take me to Krishna. <coughs> so he left his <coughs> door, went to sleep, and very well slept, and she became afterward a good devotee. <coughs> so we should always remember this history and try to be very careful. What Avadhu Dattatreya has told and Krishna again he has told to Uddha. Why he has told? <coughs> oh, you will have to detach from this world. No ashakti. And give your whole heart, all of heart, everything to please Krishna. Life is short. But Arthadam, oh, it can give from Artha, even Dasya Fradika, highest, it can give. Only we can. And we don't know when it will go, when death will come. So 
of with whole effort and energy. <coughs> so get to Krishna consciousness. Then, Sudevi, 